So the travel professional's responsibilities <coughs> are many. Um, practicing truly responsible and sustainable tourism and not just marketing as such. Uh, this involves defining the terms for your company, establishing a code of ethics, goals, guidelines, getting certified. I don't know who was in the, uh, who was in the eco certification uh, talk yesterday. You know, something that we can really bring to bear on this issue, I think. Um, getting certified, you know, we have to start at the bottom and, and with what we know individually, but then there really needs to be some way that we can bring that together uh, in, in some kind of standard that we can brand so that the public recognizes all of our efforts. Um, make yourself accountable in, in whatever way you can and then publicize that so that the media is able to communicate that message. Um, clearly define what you believe ecotourism is Try to differentiate it from the ecotourism wannabes, the greenwashers. Goodness sells. Uh, marketing properly means that you need to tell success stories. And this is an interesting one. Um, in September, the uh, North American Ties Conference will be in Madison, Wisconsin. And Keith Spruill, who I work closely with, pointed out to me several really neat things about Wisconsin that I didn't know. Um, you can see here there are more Native American tribes in any state, East of Mississippi, and this is talking about in the United States. Um, more independent certified organic small farms than any state in the U.S. The greater percent of land area that is under some form of protected status by the state than most of the neighbors around Wisconsin. And it's actually established its own certification program that's unique. So we're going to learn a lot um, in Madison, and, and all of you are welcome to be there because it'll be an awesome event. And as I know, a lot of you are marketing yourselves to the U.S., and so it would be a really great place to come and continue what we're learning here. Recognizing the multiple stakeholders involved in the process, as you know, is crucial. And this is, again, something that it's very helpful if you can do this when you're having discussions with the media, because it brings out the fact that everyone is benefiting from what you're doing. Buying locally on tour, appreciation or accreditation programs that you create, Crediting your NGOs, um, award systems, certification and eco labels, and always demonstrating the profitability of ecotourism. <laughs> Very important is building relationships with members of the media that are based on trust and understanding. Uh, you want to be able to um, create yourself as the expert that the media want to come to for these types of issues and this type of information. You also need to Remember that working with the media requires that you be sensitive to their needs um, and always available to answer their questions. If you get a call from someone, you need to return that call immediately because they're, they're probably finishing a story, they're on deadline, they're gonna get it from someone else if you don't. Um, presenting information in a press release and having a press room on your website is extremely helpful so that therefore if you're not available, that information is right there for them. Uh, working within the media's deadlines, very important. Using preferred communication channels. Uh, if you get to know your reporters, some of them would rather not be called. They'd rather get to hear from you on email and then they can call you back when they have time. Um, and really, really important is offering fun information. Just like I said earlier with Modern Traveler, we don't want this to be something that's hitting people over the head, that's preaching to them, that's a should do, should be thing. But let's tell them how fun it can be to do these ecotourism activities and then also be doing something good at the same time. Educating the media about ecotourism, sustainable practices, and market trends is part of our responsibility as travel professionals. And supervising and controlling the interview and the end product as much as possible. Um, you know, we have to remember that a good product is a good product only when it gets that consumer interested, only when they can really understand it. And making sure the media gets it right, that's your responsibility. You know, you can talk to them for a long time and then they may go away and write something different. So you really need to stay on top of it. Just like med medicine, where you have to manage your own case. You have to manage yourself with the media, too. How do you reach the awakening consumer? Use multiple communications channels to get the message out. Tell the experiential story. You know, and, and when you're explaining things to reporters, really make them smell and taste and hear and see and feel that product so that they can communicate that well in their writing. Uh, use innovative partnerships with other travel professionals and nonprofits. So, to remember again what we said, an effective brand is deliberate result of strategic considerations on the part of a group of professionals about a product or concept's value. Okay, so the image projector, again, 
a company or movement may seek to achieve a brand image or positioning in the minds of its target audiences. So the ecotourism community goes through the travel media <coughs> to reach the ecotourism consumer. Brands, as we know, are most often defined by corporations because they can have much more control over how the brand is adapted to find the different countries. However, it is not impossible for a movement or a community, such as the type of ecotourism community, working efficiently and ethically with the media through ties to project an effective brand image of ecotourism in the minds of its known and well-defined audiences. And these are the interview sources, if you'd like to check them out. Um, I'm really excited about this topic, and I'm really excited about what we can do with Modern Traveler. I have a lot of materials with me that I can show you if any of you are interested later to know more about the magazine. And I thank you so much for your time.